असलकुम नमस्ते मेरे सामने तीन दोस्त संजय नासिर और संजय संजू कंडी एक ख्वाब देखे थे कि एक अच्छा सा स्कूल भी इधर में डालेंगे वो स्कूल आज सामने है बहुत अच्छा है बहुत अच्छा तरक्की कर रहा है बस मैं इतना ही बोलती हूँ कि अल्लाह और तरक्की दे और अच्छा दे।
बोझा के मोती सांसों की माला हमें पिरोना है अपना बोझा मिल के साथ ही हम को ढोना है शहनाई 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 I invite our distinguished dignitary, Dr. Vijay Hatti, ma'am, wife of Mr. Sanjay Hatti, president of NEFT, to join us on the stage and receive our heartfelt felicitations. And I request principal ma'am to felicitate Dr. Vijay ma'am. Mother of Dr. Vijay Hatti, ma'am, to please come on the dais and receive our heartfelt felicitations. May I request our next guest, Mrs. Naseem Begum, ma'am, wife of Mr. Muhammad Nasiruddin, secretary of NEF. Come forward and receive. Nasruddin sir to please come on the dais to receive our heartfelt felicitations. of Mr. Sanjeev Kanji, Treasurer of NEFT, to come forward and receive our heartfelt felicitations.
इमेंस प्लेजर टू इनवाइट सुभाष कंजी सर ब्रदर ऑफ मिस्टर संजीव कंजी टू प्लीज कम ऑन टू द डायस एंड रिसीव अवर हार्ट फिल्ड फेलिसिटेशन Welcome to our distinguished guest, Dr. Vijay Hatti, ma'am. Her presence here tonight is a true testament to her commitment to education and our community. Let us give a huge round of applause as I invite Dr. Vijay Hatti, ma'am, to share her insights with us. A very good evening to everyone. Respected dignitaries on the dais and off the dais, I welcome all of you to this wonderful evening of Edify gathering today. My dear friends, Mrs. Nasima and Miss Mrs. Meena and Principal Ramya Madam, Suraya Madam and Mr. Subhash Kanji sir. I welcome all of you for this today's gathering. Today's theme of this evening is Ma. What we can talk about Ma? All the emotions and the words short fall in explaining the word Ma for everyone, every in everybody's life. And she plays a major role in architecting our lives. And she is an epitome of love and sacrifice. She gave a birth to a child. And she spent so many sleepless nights in raising that kid. And she teaches her how to eat, how to walk, and how to write the basic letters, everything. And uh, during my infancy, I just remember an uh, incident. My mother is a working woman, and of course, she had a lot of scarcity of time. And she used to write A, B, C, D on the roti flour. And I used to copy from that. And so every mother is unique. And she sacrifices her every moment of her life for the welfare of her kid. And she will be by the side of the kid till the baby is grown up. And the baby grows in that protected and the nurtured environment to a little extent. And the life is not smooth. As we know, it has to move on. And so for the kid, that little baby it has to move away from the mother's nurtured care. So where the baby goes then? Baby comes to the school. So there lies an important role of a school in receiving a kid where a kid will be given a same maternal environment as given by her mother. So there is the role of our Edify school. And whatever position we take in our life in further future, so we will be a small kids in front of our mothers. Just imagine the strongest person of our nation, Narendra Modi ji. 
His mother used to cuddle her just like a baby. So whatever you are, you are just small little baby to your mother always. So when it comes to school, we used to, when I was a kid, I used to plan the previous night only what reasons I should give tomorrow for not going to school. I used to think so many reasons, this pain, that pain, just not to go to the school. But here I see in the edify, hardly any kid, even in IK1 and 2, isn't it Ramya madam? Hardly any uh, kid cries here. They literally want to come to school. Running and jumping, singing, they come to school. Last few days back, just I asked my daughter to miss school for two days to attend a family marriage. And she told me on straight away, Mama, I will not come. You people carry on. I, am, I will not miss the school for a single day. So are the unique are the our edified kids. So a big round of applause <laughs> to all our kids. <laughs> so one important decision every parent has to make in their life, which will create their uh, kids' future. So that is how to choose a school. H the school should be how it should be. So first you look for the infrastructure, then look for the teachers. So our Edify, it's having a state-of-the-art infrastructure and it is equipped with all the modern classrooms, playgrounds, e-libraries, sports, everything. The kid, not only the academic excellence is not important for a kid, but the overall growth of the kid is important. And look at our teachers. Unlike any other school, our teachers are master degree holders with minimum of five to six years of their experience in their career and they really connect to the kid. When a kid comes out of the mother's protected environment, they give that nurturement and they really connect to the kid and respond to the each and every emotion of our kid. So a big round of applause under the guidance of Ramya Madam our teachers are doing a great job. A big round of applause to all the team of Edify. Te Edify. So regarding generation gap, I would like to speak a few words. When we were kids, like we used to talk to our grandparents, nim time nai hang gittu, nam time nai hang gilla, to our grandparents, not even parents. That much, the generation gap was in terms of decades. Now my younger daughter talks to her elder one, elder one, Akka nin time nai hangi to, nin time nai hangi la. Means, if you have a sibling at the age difference of about six to eight years, you can see the difference in their conversation. That much is the generation, now a generation gap is almost reduced to six to eight years. So that much fast, the technology is growing, and the kids are growing. Our kids are not like us. They are definitely more smarter and they have more IQ than what we used to be. During our school days, when our teacher tells the person who mucks up 30, 30 tables, he is the intelligent. And the person who writes 10 pages of any essay, he is the brilliant. Now you tell anything, everything is ready within two minutes. The answer is calculator, chat GPT. So last time my uh, elder daughter asked me to get a calculator and she asked me about 20,000 rupees for a calculator. I was shocked why a calculator should cost 20,000 bucks. Later she brought it and showed me what all features we can get in that calculator. So much our electronic uh, things are moving and we are not coping up with that. We are not moving ahead of that. We just want, still want our kids to mug up those tables, get good marks. That should not be our attitude. Then what, what our kids has to learn? When everything is there on the Google, everything is there on the chat GPT, what our kids should learn? There are many things which we were not aware and which are unknown to us. They are. They, now everything is virtual for them, everything, all friends are virtual, all chat is virtual, talking is virtual, everything is virtual and they are addicted to that smart, smart mobile 
and when real people come to their life they they feel real difficulty in connecting to the people they don't know how to speak they don't know how to connect to the people so this this has to be taught to our kids so how they have to learn leadership skills communication skills soft skills how to manage people and uh, how to manage this social media social media etiquette and they really have challenges also in their life what challenges the scariest challenges is substance abuse and social media bullying these are the major challenges that our kids are going to face in the future so we as a parent and as a teacher we are make we are supposed to make our kids accustomed to these things and how to cope up with such challenges this is a real challenge of our parenthood that is why we need we need training nowadays for everything for what to eat how to eat how to sleep and the major thing is how to be a good parent our parents never took any parenting workshop for us and they made us a very good citizens isn't it but we are failing in this because because of this fast growing technology we need training to be a good parent definitely we need and we have to cope up with our children's needs we have to understand what they are interested in and what they want to be in their future just like do mug up get good marks become a doctor engineer it is not like that there are so many opportunities nowadays for kids so explore them and you be with your kid and let them help in exploring their interests so one more good thing in this platform i want to share is the nisarga education foundation trust is coming up with a new school at abgiri so a big round of applause to all the three brave men sitting here one of them is my mentor my beloved husband mr sanjay hatti president of nisarga education foundation trust and my two elder brothers mr mohammad nasiruddin mahagavi secretary of nisarga education foundation trust and mr sanjeev panji secretary of nisarga education foundation trust they are getting the quality education to this hyderabad karnataka region usually the hyderabad karnataka region is considered as a backward area in the karnataka isn't it so these three big people are getting that quality education to the kids of this region a big round of applause to all of you sir with these few words i would like to thank nisarga education foundation trust and edify management and all the staff for giving me this opportunity to be in front of all the distinguished guests thank you everyone and enjoy the cultural feast thank you thank you ma'am on behalf of entire edify family i express my deepest gratitude to you for gracing us with your presence and delivering such an impactful speech your words have energized and motivated us and we are immensely grateful for your support thank you once again ma'am it is of great pleasure that i invite mrs suraya begum ma'am to share some of her important words with us please come forward ma'am assalam alaikum namaste main kuch zyada bol nahi sakti बस स्कूल के बारे में थोड़ा बहुत जानती हूँ बल्कि बहुत ज़्यादा स्कूल के बारे में ही जानती हूँ मेरे सामने तीन दोस्त संजय नासिर और संजय संजू कनरी एक ख्वाब देखे थे कि एक अच्छा सा स्कूल भी इधर में डालेंगे सो वो स्कूल आज सामने है बहुत अच्छा है बहुत अच्छा तरक्की कर रहा है बस मैं इतना ही बोलती हूँ कि अल्लाह और तरक्की दे और अच्छा बने शुक्रिया थैंक यू सो मच मैम फॉर शेयरिंग योर वैल्यूएबल वर्ड्स विद अस I would like to invite the person whose actions always inspired us to dream more, learn more, do more, and become more. Who is none other than our honourable and dignified principal, ma'am, Mrs. Ramya R L, to speak a few words about the program. Please come forward, ma'am. Give a big round of applause. <laughs> Thank you, my 
Aisha. Good evening, all. Good evening. No sound. Good evening. Yes, we have a crowd to see the annual day function. This is our second annual day function, so you need to be more excited. Right? Are you excited? Yes, all of them are excited to see their kids' performance. First of all, I welcome you all to this function. So first, uh, I'm uh, welcoming all the dignitaries, those who are there on the dais. Uh, Vijaya ma'am, Meena ma'am, uh, Nasim ma'am, then our fe uh, felicitation guest, uh, Sharda ma'am, Suraya ma'am, and Subhash sir. I welcome you all to this uh, auspicious occasion. And next, for the, not the last, I am welcoming the management, Sanjay Hathi sir, the president of Nisarga Education Foundation Trust, uh, Mohammad Nasiruddin sir, secretary of uh, Nisarga Education Foundation Trust, uh, Sanjay, uh, Sanjeev Kanji sir, treasurer of uh, Nisarga Education Foundation Trust. Welcome you all, sir. So this is an auspicious occasion we are going to celebrate. This is our second annual day celebration. And we given the name as Ma. What is the importance of Ma means? This is the second house of each and every kid. So they are coming to our school as a second home. So actually they are spending only few hours in your home and they are spending more time in our school. So each and every facilitators are considering the kids, each and every kid as their kid. So they are their ma. That's the reason we given the annual day celebrations name also as ma. Here you will be seeing a lot of mothers, those who are having affection towards the kids. So their motherly affection, we are giving respect to the parents, we are giving respect to each and every kid also. So we are giving the values, ethics, each and everything, and we are creating the responsible citizens. And here we are giving more opportunity to the kids and creating the citizen, those who are with the skills, values, and ethics. So they are developing their holistic development, holistic skills and development. We are giving more importance for that only, not for the academic, not focusing on only academics. They need to be having more co-curricular activities. They need to be having the skills to talk in front of others. They need to be having the confidence. They need to be having the skills to manage each and everything in the society. Nowadays in society, so many hazards are there. They need to be facing each and everything. In, in each and everything, they need to be the best. That we are thinking and we are promoting that skills in the students. And we are so grateful to our management for their valuable guidance, encouragement and support. That's the reason these all the things are happening. So I am grateful and thankful to the management, those who are supporting us. And we give more preference for creating responsible citizen with values, skills, and academic excellence. We create leaders, not the followers. We edify, give more preference for molding children with holistic view of development. So we begin our journey in 2020, and now we are the dream destination of many. That I can tell directly to parents that we are the dream destination of many. Now we completed 100, more than 100 walkings. So I think you people will be knowing regarding walkings. Walkings means a parent's inquiry. We are just handling directly from the school. So admission counselors recorded that it is 106 parents visited the school in the month of uh, February itself. And we completed 56 admissions. So give a loud round of applause for our admission counselors and whole academic team. Just to give a loud round of applause that we completed 56 admissions in the month of February itself. So the limited seats are booking very fastly. So the, these are all happening because of the dedicated teachers, students, staff, and of course with the cooperative parents. 
The progress of any institution depends upon committed faculty, supporting administrative staff, large pool of resources, and responsible students, and cooperative parents. We are really to have such faculties and uh, such elements in our school. So in our annual function, you'll be seeing that each and every student will be performing and each and every student will be a part in all the programs. Each and every program, every student will be participating. So we can see the program. Before that, we will see what all the things we completed in the annual year 2023-24. So now this is the time to announce that annual report. So welcome all of you for the annual report. Academic year with the summer camp. We are continuously getting teachers training from head office and from the resourceful persons. Each and every Saturday teachers will be having a training from head office. So we have a growth. In these years we are growing. academic year and there was a school union students uh, got the information regarding how the pollination how the nomination how the election is going on these students got the information regarding that so we were having one invest teacher ceremony also so we selected the students not we students selected the students those who are head girl head boy sports minister Board Secretary, Editorial Director, Editor-in-Chief, Board Secretary, Finance Minister, Finance Secretary, Cultural Secretary, Cultural Minister and this is our investiture ceremony. Now we are moving to the achievement. Facilitators appreciation events were there so we got first in investiture ceremony and virtual students exchange program, virtual facilitators exchange program. Children's Day Celebration, Cyber Security, so Maisha Talib and Hassan God, international and zonal level ranks in SOF Olympiad examinations and so many kids from our school selected for the second level examination. And Vishwajit from grade 8 got second place in Pradipha Karinji drawing program. And a lot of students got state level program recognition also. Extracurricular acti activities, we just started yoga practices. Karate. And we are having one special program that is home BTM. Facilitators visited each and every student's home. Caroms program.
नेशनल एंड इंटरनेशनल डे सेलिब्रेशन cyber security program those uh, program will be giving awareness regarding the hazards and uh, the problems which they are facing in social media and the uh, students got an awareness regarding that and we conducted max exhibition each and every students were a part of that and students explained the things and they made it a very successful event and we conducted sports day that was our annual sports day and uh, uh, sri chennabasavanna sir inaugurated that one and we conducted all the sports event in the school students performed well in that annual sports day so thank you for being a parent in the edify school be the and next one we'll be going with the next academic year what all the things we are going to do before that we will be starting with this year starting with the new computer lab we just started and inaugurated the new computer lab with 40 systems in the computer lab and each and every kid will be getting the computer system and now our future plan is Hub, we are starting, and more programs will be focused, and they will be getting more sports events like the hockey and skating, and smart classrooms. We are introducing composite science lab and max lab. We are introducing. Thank you, thank you so much, and it is a humble request from the first program to last program. You should be there. That will be encourage our kids. So your encouragement needed. that will support them so please give applause to the kids when they are performing thank you thank you so much आजा जिंद शामी आने के तले है आजा जरी वाले नीले आजमाने के तले है आजा आजा जिंद शामी आने के तले है आजा जरी वाले नीले आजमाने के तले है and loving principal ma'am for her insightful words for steering our school towards success with grace and wisdom and guiding us towards greatness with unwavering commitment and passion ma'am your leadership sets a shining example for all of us your dedication is truly admirable thanks a lot ma'am far and away the best prize that life has to offer is the chance to work hard at work worth doing with this prize full saying let us start our prize distribution ceremony now it is the time to honor the talents of our young minds by presenting them with a valuable gift by our special guests today encouraging talents by presenting prizes is our duty to maintain our students zeal to win more and achieve more 
I know you people are anxiously waiting to receive your prizes from the hands of dignitaries. Please hold your enthusiasm because in a few minutes we are going to start our prize distribution ceremony. The most awaited candidates, none other than the award winners of this academic year, are now going to receive their awards. Ladies and gentlemen, before we commence with the award ceremony, I would like to acknowledge the remarkable journey of our youngest students in IK1, IK2, IK3, Grade 1 and Grade 2. While each child has shown incredible growth and potential, it was very difficult for us to choose one student from the galaxy of excellence. Each and every child's achievement is equally commendable. Congratulations to each and every kid of these classes. It is my pleasure to invite our honorable chief guest, Sharuda Ma'am to please come on the dais and distribute the prizes. Now, let me announce the winners from grade three onwards. So, for this academic year of 2023 to 24, the best performer in academics from grade three is Manvit Biradal. Congratulations, Manvit. Please come on to the dais to receive your gift. In grade four is Dhanashwi Dube. Congratulations, Dhanashwi. Please come on to the dais to receive your gift. Give a big round of applause. The best performer in academics from grade 5 is Tanisha Joshi. Congratulations, Tanisha. Please come on to the dais to receive your prize. The best performer in academy come to the dais to receive your prize. Give a big round of applause. And now I invite Subhash sir for distributing the prizes. So for this academic year of 2023 to 24, the best performer in academics from grade 8 is Nishka Akka. Congratulations, Nishka. Please come on to the dais to receive your gift. It is with great pleasure that I announce myself, Maisha Talan, academics from grade 6. of every event. Within a few minutes, we are going to watch and enjoy the gorgeous performances. Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready to get that thrill of exciting dramas, energetic dances and power-packed performances of our talented students? Can I expect a huge round of applause? Thank you. Claps are the best motivation that you can give to our young lads. So, before we embark on our journey today, we will begin with a Ganesh Vandana, an expression of our profound reference for the Lord. I am privileged to invite grade 6 Tulip students onto the stage to perform the Ganesh Vandana. Let's welcome them with a huge round of applause. Oh, 
Sayatera, the Vashi, 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 the Vash